Hi folks. This is my uh, <clears throat> this is my pressure cooker water distiller that I, I put together. And I'm showing it from this angle because uh, I just want you to see that it all it all packs into the pressure cooker. Uh, so it's a complete unit here. Uh, it all packs away for safe storage and then you can use it more or less anytime you want. So I'll show you a few more things about it. Now this pressure cooker uh, I originally bought at Walmart and I paid about $20 for it. And I used it as a pressure cooker for quite a long time, well you know maybe a year. And then it stopped working very well. And since it only cost $20 to, to buy it new, it really wasn't worth fixing. So, but I kept it and uh, I fixed it so that it'll now be a water distiller. And uh, this is the way it is. Uh, this, this is a compression fitting that I bought, or this is part of a compression fitting that I bought at I bought at Lowe's and I'll show you the part this is the part that I got and you need this if you're going to do this my way and you also need 10 feet of quarter inch quarter inch copper tubing and I bought that stuff at Lowe's plus you'll also need a rubber washer and you'll need also a metal washer and I'll show you what we got here so this is the the rubber washer and the compression fitting uh, fit into the lid here and I drilled that hole out using using a step drill uh, it really is the right tool to use for a thing like this and I drilled it out so that it just fit the compression fitting And this is my metal washer. I actually made this stupid thing. Uh, I didn't have a, a washer with a hole big enough to accommodate to accommodate that size. So I made this uh, using that step drill. And uh, it works pretty good, but I might wind up getting a, a real washer. Uh, I'd rather have a nylon washer than a metal one. But for now, this works. So there is another another part to the compression fitting, and I've got it on the copper tubing here. Uh, once you use this, uh, it flares the end of the, the copper tubing a little bit, and it's a little challenging to take it off. And then you get these these parts here. Uh, it comes with two of them, but you only need the one in this case. And I'm going to carefully, carefully, so that you don't kink this. Carefully install it on here. And and just use a wrench to snug it up. Uh, it doesn't really have to get cranked down very hard. The, So that ought to do it. 
Now I'm going to set it up and I'll show you how I use it. So here I've got it set up here and uh, pretty much everybody knows what distilled water is but for those who don't I'm going to explain it. So I've got water in, in here and there's my heat source underneath heating it up and we're going to boil the water it's going to make steam. The steam is going to travel through this this copper tubing and it'll cool down and this water that I've got in this bowl here will help it to cool down uh, a little bit more it'll re reform into water and then it'll drip out here and the <clears throat> the impurities in the water like fluoride uh, minerals and things like that will be left behind so we'll have pure water uh, there are exceptions there are exceptions to this and there's types of water that you shouldn't use uh, you shouldn't use anything from a car radiator because it's got antifreeze in it and you'll just uh, get antifreeze in your water and antifreeze is poisonous and I wouldn't use anything with any uh, any kind of uh, petroleum in it, any petrochemicals or anything like that uh, should really get water that's uh, that's as good as you can find. I mean it can be sea water or it can be swamp water it could be uh, it could even be waste water but there are things that you don't want to have in it when you're distilling. There really aren't. Uh, you'll, uh, <clears throat> you'll be making poisonous water with certain things. And I've tried to find a, a website that explains all this and I'm unable to do that. But uh, just trust me, especially on the antifreeze, you don't want to use antifreeze in your, in your water uh, that you're distilling. Anyway, this setup will make about four cups in one hour. And that's, if I ran it day and night, that would be about 16 gallons uh, that it'll make in 24 hours. And that's pretty good. Now, there is one other thing I want to mention. Uh, there's a lot of controversy as to whether or not drinking distilled water is a safe thing to do. Some people say that it is, some people say that it isn't. Uh, personally, I fall on the side of things that says uh, it may not, it may be safe, but uh, why take the chance? So, the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to add some minerals back into the water and what I've been using is Himalayan sea salt and I can get that stuff for $1.22 a pound at my supermarket so it's not expensive and you just put a little bit in the water uh, you won't taste it with that little bit in there uh, you just won't taste it and uh, that adds a lot of the uh, minerals back into the water that get taken out through this process because really you don't want to get rid of the minerals in my opinion uh, but you do want to kill any bacteria, any viruses and get rid of any chlorine, uh, fluoride, things like that but in my opinion the minerals are still important so that's what I do and you'll need to decide for yourself what you want to do. Even though this is a pretty good setup and I like it, it, uh, it has its drawbacks and, and one of them is that you need a heat source, some kind of a flame or an electric uh, stove top or something in order to, to heat the water to boiling and I, I, would rather have, I would rather have a solar water distiller and one of my one of the people I'm subscribed to, Cryptic Cricket. I'm going to leave a a link to one of his videos that he did. He actually did a couple of them on a 
on a solar water distiller that he made. And I'm also going to leave a link to a video, uh, a couple of videos, but I'll just put a link to one of them by BC Truck. And he he made uh, a solar, dis I mean a uh, a pressure cooker distiller that's similar to the one I have here. And he talks about other things in his video that I don't want to include in mine because I just don't want to have a long video. But he uh, he also made one of these and so his, uh, his insight is also useful. So here I'm just giving a close-up of of the water coming out. Uh, like I said, it'll make about four cups an hour. So it's a pretty useful thing. Uh, now I I also want to mention uh, I don't like the taste of this water. To me it's got an odd kind of taste to it. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I know that it's it's pretty pure, but I think it tastes kind of strange. But uh, I think it's, but it, of course it's, it is, it is a chemically pure water. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, go ahead and, and ask them. And I'll, uh, I'll leave those links that I mentioned before. Thanks for watching.